Healthcare workers at St. Mary's Hospital will be receiving COVID-19 vaccinations today. Fox News Blair Lede joins us live. She is in Richmond Heights this morning with details on who is it administering these vaccinations. Somebody well known. Yeah, John, we see him all the time uh, on air. We cover the St. Louis pandemic task forces at press conferences and to keep up to date with what's happening with the COVID-19 situation in our region. And Dr. Alex Garza, who is the leader, the incident commander for the pandemic task force, he will be spending his Christmas Eve making sure our frontline workers are safe and have received the vaccination. He'll be the one administering those today. Now, uh, he'll be here at St. Mary's Hospital to administer those to the healthcare workers. And of course, he's been continuously giving us updates on our COVID-19 statuses in hospitals, the number of people going in and out of our hospitals and the number of people affected and infected in our community. Well, once this kicks off, we'll be able to see the vaccination clinic and then hear from those team members who will be also spending their Christmas Eve getting the vaccine today. Now, this comes as Pfizer and Moderna vaccinations were approved. Now, healthcare professionals across the country are getting vaccinated. Back here at home, 23,000 vaccines have been administered to nursing home residents, nursing home staff, and of course, our frontline healthcare workers. These were the people, uh, some of them who were deemed vulnerable. Uh, at last check, 285 facilities across the state are approved to administer the COVID-19 vaccination. Meanwhile, hundreds of other facilities are waiting to be approved to give the vaccine as well. So definitely making some prog progress when it comes to getting those administered. And again, this is a testament to the tireless work of the pandemic task force because they will be spending uh, the beginning of their holidays, Christmas Eve, doing those vaccinations. And we plan to cover that for you all. So make sure to stay tuned in with us to see that later on today. Reporting live from Richmond Heights, I'm Blair Lede, Fox 2 News.